Two months of daily videos, channel and analytics updates coming up. Hello everybody, I'm Travis Vroman, and for those of you who are new here, I upload daily videos with tips, tricks, and industry advice for game developers. So if this sounds like something that would interest you, consider subscribing. So today marks two months of daily videos. And first off, I wanna start by saying this is something that I wasn't sure if I was actually gonna be able to do. I wanted to start this off as sort of an experiment to see if it was something that I was even capable of doing, was daily videos. And I accomplished it. I've done two months of it, and I think that's awesome. And it's really been a struggle at some points. Some points it was easier than others, but I'm happy I did it. And I hope you guys are enjoying the content that I am providing. So, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the computer. Okay, so these are the analytics starting from June and going a little bit into July. Okay, so a couple of things to note on this first screen here is uh, the watch time looks like it dropped off big time, and it kind of did. But that's because I had a couple of huge spikes in the last 28 days that contributed to this. So this is the end of one of those spikes here. And nothing really has spiked here. And there's a couple of reasons for that uh, that I'll go into in a few minutes, but I'll come back to that. Uh, the other thing I want to point out is the average view duration Overall, it has some spikes, uh, not too many dips, but mostly spikes. But if you look at the overall average of it, it's pretty flat. Um, it is up, I guess, a little bit. Uh, this says it's up by 18% over the previous period. Um, but, yeah, that's that. Uh, so the views, uh, again, similar to this watch time, looks like it, it came down off of a huge spike there. And this, for the most part, matches up right with the with the watch time now both of these are down from the previous uh, period because there were some spikes there so these are both down that's kind of to be expected because uh, I didn't have any spikes here um, estimated revenue of course is still zero so uh, the number of likes is up uh, by almost 30 percent which is good uh, looks like I've had a couple of spikes, but for the most part, it's been flat. Dislikes is uh, right about even. That's kind of interesting to me. So it looks like most of you guys are liking what I'm putting out, so that's good. Comments are up uh, almost 100%, actually, from the last period. So that's really awesome uh, to see that there's more engagement there. So I definitely want to keep the ball rolling on that. The amount of shares is uh, also up by 13%. Uh, the number of videos and playlists looks like it's down 14%. I'm not really sure why that is, because I'm pretty sure all my videos are in playlists. So I'm not sure if that means that it's in other people's playlists or what. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I don't know why that's down or, or what that metric actually is. I'll need to figure that out uh, at a later time. So the next thing is subscribers. So subscribers in terms of growth is down by 50%, but overall my subscribers are up, so I'll sort of go into that in a little bit. The next thing is um, the top 10 videos are kind of lining up a little bit like I, I expected that they would. Um, the pros and cons of writing a game engine seems to far and away be the most popular video so far. Um, after that is how viable is supporting yourself as a game developer. And then uh, one of my, my, my Subaru video uh, comes back again. It looks like that kind of had another uptick, I guess, for this, uh, this thing. So that is the last car video that I have. And I leave it there um, simply because it, it, it got so much attention that I, I really don't want to take it down. So that's the only one of my car videos that hasn't been taken down yet. Uh, and after that, it's five things you need to start making games. Um, interestingly enough, the transparency report that I made for last time is is on this top ten list, too. Uh, and this is by watch time, by the way, not necessarily the number of views. If I sort this by number of views, this changes quite a bit. Um, 
Well, this one is, is of course still at the top, but uh, the Subaru video actually falls off a little bit more, and I suspect this will continue to fall off as time goes on. But note that none of the other videos are, are here anymore, So um, as far as the car videos go. So this is all um, the new content here with the exception of uh, with the exception of this one. The traffic sources has changed a little bit. So it looks like only 45% of the traffic that's coming in is from external resources. That, and that's like things like Reddit or Facebook or those external things. Looks like browse features and channel pages has gone up. And other, I'm not 100% sure what that is. I think that's applications and whatnot. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, playback locations, looks like the YouTube watch page is dominating that still. And the rest of it is pretty much embedded in external websites and apps, and then the YouTube channel page is a very almost non-existent portion of that. Uh, it looks like 100% of the people watching these videos are guys, uh, which I find interesting because I know there are a lot of female developers out there. So I don't know if this metric is just because maybe the only ones that are reporting their gender are male. I'm not 100% sure what's going on there. I want to look at the last 90 days because I also like to take a look at that so I get a little bit broader view of everything that's going on. So the spikes that I mentioned before are here. So there's two spikes here and then a big, big spike here. And you'll note that the same thing happens with the views, the number of views. And so the back side of this spike is, is really where this period starts. And the front part of this spike, or a little bit before that, is, is sort of where I started making these new videos uh, about uh, game development. And where I really kicked the channel off is, was right around here. Um, I believe, actually, I think it was closer to somewhere around here. But anyway, the interesting thing about this is these videos were all videos that I pushed the crap out of. Uh, in terms of trying to get exposure and, and getting trying to get people to look at them. And after that, I stopped pushing it quite as much because I wanted to see what kind of impact it would have on, on my views and whatnot if I didn't push my videos as hard because I'm looking for more organic growth here and I'm not wanting to have to push my videos as hard as I was pushing them here. Um, I did get some feedback about that, and it was valuable feedback, and it's something I'm probably going to make a different video about sometime in the very near future. But um, I just wanted to kind of point that out as the reason that there were these spikes here and, and why it looked like within this period I was uh, sort of falling off. So if you look at overall, this section here overall is actually higher than what's going on over here. So there, it, is gr it is starting to grow, uh, and I'm starting to see it looks like there's another uptick here. So it'll be interesting to see over the next period what this does. If you look at average view duration, this number is still pretty flat. Uh, one thing that I've, uh, I've noticed is that it varied wildly here at first, and it's, sorting to s it's sort of starting to taper off a little bit in terms of how wild it varies. Uh, so that's kind of interesting to me. I I'm interested to see where that goes in the, in the next period. Uh, the other thing I would like to point out is uh, the number of the likes. So uh, likes were basically non-existent um, here towards the front. And and then uh, there's just a bunch of spikes of, of likes going on here. Dislikes is kind of the same thing. Now, one thing that I find interesting is the dislike spikes seem to, to also go here. So as my videos got more views, the number of likes went up, but the number of dislikes also went up. But if you look at the overall numbers here, it looks like overall the feedback is pretty positive. Comments are one of the things that I'm seeing a lot of growth on. Uh, if we look at the comments here, it's pretty flat. Uh, but there is sort of a, a spike here that lines up again with these guys. And then uh, it sort of tapers off after that. But I'm actually starting to see some organic growth here happening on the comments. So it looks like there's more engagement overall happening. Uh, which is a great thing. I'm happy to see that. Um, shares and, and 
and videos and playlists, again, are, are pretty flat. They've got spikes. Each one of them has spikes, but there's nothing really to write home about there. And I've gained 133 subscribers over the last 90 days, uh, which is awesome. So the num total number of subscribers right now, I believe, is at 210? Yeah, 210. Uh, so that's definitely something that I'm looking to, um, to raise up, as well as uh, watch time, most importantly, and views. All right, so the next thing I want to check out is audience retention. Now, I have switched back to last 28 days. This number, for the most part, is pretty flat, but it looks like something I, something I did here on the 5th uh, apparently was right in terms of audience retention. So it'll be interesting to see what that, what that which video that is. It looks like... Uh, so that was track all ideas, even bad ones. Uh, it looks like this video has actually done fairly well in terms of, of retention. <laughs> it's only got 11 views, so that's kind of interesting. Um, that kind of makes me think that maybe it's not that video that is contributing to that. I'm not sure which video contributed to that, to be completely honest. I'll, I'll have to figure out how to get that uh, get that data for you uh, next time. If we look, our average percentage viewed is 27%, which isn't great. I'd like to get that number up. So what I'm trying to do is switch up the format of my videos a little bit to see if I can actually get that number up a little bit because I want to make my content more engaging for those who are looking at it. So this tells me that that some of my videos are just sort of falling off and I need to figure out why. So uh, if we look here, there are some of these videos that have a lot of retention and some of them that don't. Uh, this one's 47%. This one is 73%. Um, and that is getting out the uh, indie game tip Indie game dev tip number five, get outside input. This one is interesting to me. I'm not really sure why this one has gotten such high... I don't know what, what the difference is between this one and some of the other ones. Uh, I don't know if maybe it's an anomaly. I'm not really sure. Um, this one also is uh, developed to ship. Is is also got a lot of retention at, at 76 percent so and there's some of these in here that are in the in the 40s and whatnot so I do want to get my retention up that is something that I need to focus on uh, because that tells me the videos with low retention tell me that they're not interesting enough for people to sort of dedicate the whole time to watching them so I do want to uh, figure out ways that I can improve on that and of course, if anybody has any suggestions, I'm, I'm, I'm open to that, of course. Uh, the next thing I wanted to sort of take a look at is, let's look at subscribers. So subscribers, this, uh, this is basically how many subscribers I gain or lose every single day uh, for this period. And so this is coming off the back of a, of a spike where I gain 12 subscribers in a day. Uh, six, three, and down here below the zero, of course, is where I've lost subscribers. So I've had a couple of days where I've lost, a, you know, one or two subscribers, and I've had a, f a few other times where I've sort of broken even, and then I've had um, several times where I've gained multiple subscribers during the day. Um, looks like in the first I actually gained eight, which is actually pretty high. Um, likes and dislikes. Okay, so let's go ahead and cancel the comparison. So likes, we had 190, and we had 13 dislikes. Uh, and it looks like most of those likes are on the pros and cons of uh, writing a game engine. That seems to be a super popular video. So I may make some other content revolving around writing a game engine. Um, and then uh, also the viability of supporting yourself as a game developer also seemed to be another popular one. And then it looks like also five things you need and nobody wants to steal your game idea were pretty well t well taken as well. All right, so, so the interesting thing here is also um, some of the videos that got the most attention also had the most dislikes. Um, they're still mostly uh, likes, but 
there's still there's more dislikes on on some of these videos that that were towards the top so I think that's just sort of a ratio that naturally occurs all right so anyways uh, videos and playlists I'm kind of curious as to what this is all about So videos and playlists. The number of times your videos were included in viewers' playlists, including favorites. Okay, so it is what I was thinking it was. Is how many t how many playlists? Uh, videos added to playlists. Okay. So this is the number of times that the videos were added to playlists, either mine or otherwise. And it breaks this down actually by video. It looks like pros and cons of writing a game engine was added to a lot of playlists because I think I only have it on one, maybe two playlists of my own. So the rest of these are, are totally you guys out there um, adding it to playlists. So that's that's pretty awesome. But that's kind of an interesting metric. I'm going to have to look at that a little bit more going forward. Comments. Comments. I'm starting to see some, some organic growth happening here too. Um, before it was kind of always really pretty flat, but I'm actually starting to see an overall trend of it kind of going up here. So we'll see what happens there, kind of just going up and up and up and up. All right, so that's really it for the analytics review and the transparency report for this month. I'll be doing another one next month, and hopefully that hopefully this content helps you guys out. And with that, I'm gonna actually jump back out. All right, so that's pretty much it. Lots of good things coming. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this type of information helps you. It's information that I wish that I had in the very beginning of trying to grow my YouTube channel. And I'm hoping that providing this information helps other people that maybe are looking to do the same. So I'd like to get some feedback from you guys on what you think. Is this information useful to you? Are you thinking of maybe starting your own YouTube channel? Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear back from you guys on this. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys tomorrow.